Hi everybody, I'm Amanda the G, your resident cold person, here with some helpful tips for this winter. This year, heating prices are supposed to go up dramatically, so I'm guessing that a lot of you are gonna do what I do, which is not turn your heat up all that high or try and not have the heat on as much because it's gonna be expensive. I personally get cold in the summer, so let me give you some tips that I have to stay warm that are not turning your heat up to like 85, which is how I would really like to keep my house in the winter. Most people are gonna tell you things like this, like wear layers and high necks and cover up, like get the things with the thumb holes because that covers your wrists and then you can put gloves on top of it and cover everything, which yes, all of that helps and having like tighter layers so that you can put like wider, looser layers on top of it is also helpful, but here are some other things that people don't just always say. A little heads up that everything now can be USB heated. There are so many products that you can plug into your computer. These are adorable slippers. I also have mittens that are USB heated. You can get um, blankets now, you can get mouse pads, mouse pad covers, all sorts of things that you can plug into the ports on your computer to heat them. You can also get like heated blankets. Mine is currently broken, so um, I'm gonna try and replace that, but things that plug in to heat are helpful. Also, when you're wearing these, still wear a pair of socks underneath them. That'll also help keep you warm. On that vein, don't forget that you can layer socks on top of each other and then put on a pair of slippers. You can definitely layer your feet. Other USB heated things are like this. This is a portable cell phone charger and also portable hand warmer. This is very helpful to have. It goes great in a pocket. You can hold it in your hands like I do all day long. I also sit on them sometimes. I put it behind my back. Um, I put them on, like in shoes to keep my feet warm and put them underneath the blanket. And if you have more heated things underneath the blankets, it will heat it up even more. I accidentally lit mine on fire last year and I haven't made a new replacement set, but I will be making them and I highly suggest you do. You take fleece, you double layer the fleece, you fill it with craft grade rice. You can get like fancier rice if you want to, but you can get cheap non-food grade craft grade rice. Fill it up with rice, sew the whole thing shut, and then you can microwave that and then that's a portable warmer. You can also take those and put them in your bed at night before you get into the bed and then it heats up the bed. I also do have a king size heated blanket and that one is still functional and that goes on my bed. They also make heated mattress covers so you can be heated from underneath and on top. They may not be fashionable anymore because it's really not the 80s or the resurgence of the 80s in this trend anymore, but leg warmers really do help. And then for something you can buy that's not that expensive, this is a hot water bottle. It is cute because it has its own little sweater. Yours does not have to have a sweater. It's just a rubber bottle and you put boiling water into it or hot water into it. And then it's meant for like aches and pains to like rest them on aches and pains, but I do this and I hug it and hold on to all of the warmth. I'd also suggest to anyone who has a fireplace, if you can have a fire, to have fires because that will probably be a little bit better financially depending upon what happens with the cost of like firewood or if you can get firewood for cheap if you know a neighbor or a friend or yourself or a family member who is cutting a tree down and you can have that chopped up into wood or chop that up into wood and use that for the winter, that will probably help you. Also remember to wear hats because your heat can escape through the top of your head and wearing hats can really help. Same with objects that have hoods or like hoodies. Uh, sometimes I will wear a hat with a hoodie as well because I get cold. My last tip is that if you do cook, keep the heat in your kitchen and in your house. So like once you turn off this, the stove or the oven, you open it up the door so that the heat can go into your house. And maybe don't vent things outside if you don't absolutely have to vent them outside and just leave that warmth inside your house. Good luck out there staying warm this winter. Stay fresh, cheese bags. I also forgot to mention that drinking a lot of hot beverages, but I do that year round, but it, that can help as well. 